Hi, it's Dana Horachowski. It is uh, October the 9th, 2009, and I'm going to read you The Secret Covenant. I only have 10 minutes. It's on the Polly Hicks section of CanadaStreetNews.com. This is dedicated to the Jesuits the High Freemasons and the High Knights of Columbus and those that have pledged a blood oath allegiance to the Luciferians, secret societies. The Secret Covenant. An illusion it will be so large, so vast, it will escape their perception. Those who will see it will be thought of as insane. We will create separate fronts to prevent them from seeing the connection between us. We will behave, behave as if we are not connected to keep the illusion alive. Our goal will be to accomplish one drop at a time so as to never bring suspicion upon ourselves. This will also prevent them from seeing the changes as they occur themselves. This will also prevent them from seeing the changes as they occur. We will always stand above the relative field of, the, of their experience for we know the secrets of the absolute. We will work together always and will remain bound by blood and secrecy. Death will come to he who speaks. We will keep their lifespan short and their minds weak until pretending to do the, while pretending to do the opposite. We will use our knowledge of science and technology in subtle ways so they will never see what is happening. We will use soft metals, aging accelerators and sedatives in food and water also in the air. They will be blanketed by poisons everywhere they turn. The soft metals will cause them to lose their minds. We will promise to find a cure from many of our fronts, yet we will feed them more poison. The poisons will be absorbed through their skin and mouths and they will destroy their minds and reproductive systems. From all this, their children will be born dead and we will conceal this information. The poisons will be hidden in everything that surrounds them and what they drink, eat, breathe, and wear. We must be ingenious in dispensing the poisons for they can see far. We will teach them that the poisons are good with fun images and musical tones. Those they look up to will help. We will enlist them to push our poisons. They will see our products being used in films and will grow accustomed to them and will never know their true effect. When they give birth, we will inject the poisons into the blood of their children and convince them it's for their help. We will start early on when their minds are young and we will... When they give birth, we will inject the poisons into the blood of their children and convince them it's for their help. We will start early on when their minds are young and we will target their children and what the children love most, sweet things. When their teeth decay, we will fill them with metals and that will kill their mind and steal their future. When their ability to learn has been affected, we will create medicine that will make them even sicker and cause other diseases for which we, can, uh, we will create even yet more medicine. We will render them docile and weak before us by our power. They will grow de depressed, slow and obese. And when they come to us for help, we will give them more poison. We will focus their attention towards money and material goods so that they, so that they may never connect with their inner self. We will distract them with may never connect with their inner self. We will distract them with fornication, external pleasures and games so they may never be one with the oneness of it all. Their minds will belong to us and they will do as we say. If they refuse, we shall find ways to implement mind-altering technology into their lives. We will use fear as our weapon. We will establish their governments and establish opposites within. We will own both sides. We will always hide our objective but carry out our plan. We will perform the, la uh, the labor, they will perform the labor for us and we shall prosper from their toil. Our families will never mix with theirs. Our blood must be pure always for it is the way. We will make them kill each other when it suits us. We will keep them separated from the oneness by dogma and religion. We will control all aspects of their lives 
and then tell them what to think and how. We will guide them kindly and gently, letting them think that they are guiding themselves. We will foment anonymously between them through our factions. When a light shall shine among them, we shall ex extinguish it with ri by ridicule or death, whatever suits us best. We will make them rip each other's hearts apart and kill, uh, kill their own children. We will accomplish this by using hate as our ally, anger as our friend. The hate will bind them totally and never shall they see that, that from their conflicts we will emerge as the rulers. They will be busy killing each other. They will bathe in their own blood and kill their neighbors for as long as we see fit. We will benefit greatly from this, for they will not see us, for they cannot see us. We will continue to prosper from their wars and their deaths. We shall repeat it over and over until our ultimate goal is accomplished. We will continue to make them live in fear and anger through images and sound. We will use all the tools we have to accomplish this. The tools will be provided by their labor. We will make them hate themselves and their neighbors. We will always hide the divine truth from them that we are all one. This they must never know. They must never know that the color is an illusion. They must always think they are not equal. Drop by drop, drop by drop, we will advance in our goal. We will take over their land, resources, and wealth to exercise total control over them. We will deceive them into accepting laws that will steal the little freedom that they will have. We will establish a money system that will imprison them forever, freedom that they will have. We will establish a money system that will imprison them forever, keeping them and their children in debt. When they shall band together, they shall accuse them. We shall accuse them of crimes and present a different story in the world, for we shall own all the media. For we will use our media to control the flow of information and their sentiment in our favor. When they, when they shall rise up against us, we will crush them like insects, for they are less than that. They will be helpless to do anything, for they uh, will have no weapons. We will recruit some of their own to carry out our plans, and we will promise them eternal life, but eternal life they will never have, for they are not one of us. The recruits will be called initiates, and it will be and it will be indoctrinated to believe false rites of passage to higher realms. The members ever have, for they are not one of us. The recruits will be called initiates, and it will be and it will be indoctrinated to believe false rites of passage to higher realms. The members of these groups will think they are uh, they are one with us, never knowing the truth. They must never learn the truth, for they will turn against us. For their work, they will never be rewarded for, with earthly things and great titles. But never will they become immortal and join us. Never will they receive the light and travel the stars. They will never reach the higher realms, for the killing uh, of their own kind will prevent the passage of the realm to, of enlightenment. This they will never know. The truth will be hidden in their face so close that they will not be able to focus on until it's too late. Oh yes, so grand the illusion of freedom will be, that they will never know how they are our slaves. When all is in place, oh, they are our slaves. When all is in place, the reality we shall, we shall have created for them will own them. The reality will be their prison. They will live in self-delusion. When our goal is accomplished, a new era of dominion will begin. Their minds will be bound by their beliefs, the beliefs we have been we have established from the time immemorial. But if we if they ever find out that they are our, our equal, we shall perish. Then, this they must never know. If they ever find out that together they can vanquish us, they will take action. They must never ever find out what we have done. For what they do, for what they do, for if they do, they shall have no place to run. For we shall have no place to run. For it is easy to see who we are once the veil has been fallen. Has fallen. Our action will have revealed, will have revealed who we are. They will take action. They must never ever find out what we have done. For what they do, 
for what they do, for if they do, they shall have no place to run, for we shall have no place to run, for it is easy to see who we are once the veil has been fallen, has fallen. Our action will have revealed, will have revealed who we are, and they will hunt us down, and no person shall give us shelter. This is the secret covenant by which we shall live the rest of our present and future lives. For this reality will transcend many generations and lifespans. This covenant is sealed by blood, our blood. We, the ones who from heaven to earth came, the fallen angels. This covenant must never, ever be known to exist. It must never, ever be written or spoken of. Uh, for it is the consciousness that will spawn with, will release the fury of the prime creator upon us. And we shall be cast to the depths from whence we came and remain there.